Hey there everyone, welcome to my other video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Firebase with React. So at first you need to create a React project. So open your terminal and write sudo space npx space create dash react dash app and then give your app name. I'm giving my app name as react dash Firebase and press enter and it will install all the dependencies of react into the react dash firebase folder now you have to give root permission into this folder and if you are using windows you may skip this part and then you need to enter into the directory so i'm writing cd space react dash firebase and then uh, as I'm using VS code as my default code editor so I'm uh, writing code space dot to open VS code in the same directory now if you go uh, inside the source folder SLC folder and then app.js file you can see some default coding structure is there so uh, but before that I'm just uh, starting the server so open your terminal and write sudo space npm space start to start your server and you can see in the localhost 3000 port the server has been started and you can see the default page is there and now i'm going to delete all the default code and here i'm going to replace with on uh, uh, replace with two fields one is uh, input field where the where the user will give the input as text and the button field where the user will click and the text will be stored into the firebase database so you may give here the id so i'm giving uh, here the id as input text and it is optional you may give or you may not give here and a button is save click on button uh, whenever the user uh, will click on this save button the data will be stored into the firebase database and okay now go back to your browser and you can see um, the front end is ready for now now open your terminal press ctrl and c to terminate your server now write sudo space su uh, to gain the root access inside your terminal and then write npm space install space double dash save space firebase and it will install all the firebase dependencies what you will really need to implement here so wait for some time it will really take some time to add all the packages into your project and after completion if you go inside the package.json file you can see inside the dependencies firebase 7.5.8 is there and it's actually version of firebase that you are going to use inside your react now what i will do is i will convert this uh, functional component to a classful component so it is it was basically a class less component so i'm going to create a classful component here so de i'm declaring the class app extends and i will need component here and then i'm going to render whatever i was rendering when i was using the classful uh, sorry classless uh, component so do this part and save it and go back to your browser and check if uh, it is working fine or not and start the server again before that open your terminal and write npm start and then check again inside the 3000 port all right so if you replace the page uh, you can see everything is working perfectly all right so uh, here you will need some methods as well as some states so i will first declare handle text method and whatever uh, it will do it will just uh, 
take the text from the input field and change the state of the text so I will write here state equals to and text the initial text will be blank so whenever any text will be there or whenever a user writes some text inside the input field the text field will be changed or you can say the state of text will be changed so inside the handle text method i'm writing this dot state uh, set state uh, and inside the set state method i'm just uh, redefining the text as e dot target dot value and what it does is actually it takes the value from the input field and assign it to the state or update the state and then again i uh, need handle submit method to save whatever the text inside the state into the database but before that i'm just checking if everything is working perfectly or not so i'm just logging it write console.log and inside it writes uh, this dot state dot text all right so uh, i'm declaring on change inside the my, inside my input field so write on change equals to this dot handle text and whenever any uh, change will be there inside the input field it will surely reflect on the handle text method and inside the button declare on click method and whenever uh, an user click on this button it will log the text so open your browser and open the inspect or developer tools here go to your console and write inside the input field like hi so if you click on save and you can see inside the console hi has been prompted all right so now uh, what you have to do just open a new tab and go to firebase write to uh, firebase uh, inside the Google search and open the Firebase link click on the sign in and I'm just skipping this part so after successfully signing in uh, you will get this kind of page click on the create project and enter your project name I'm giving my project name as react dash Firebase click on continue all right now scroll down and click again uh, on continue now select an account as default account for firebase then create an account here and wait for some time click on continue all right so after this uh, you will get this kind of page and as you are using a web version uh, click on the web icon and here you need to give your app name again so just write react dash firebase and click on the register app all right so whatever you have to do everything is here so all the api key and all the links of database everything is there so just copy this part and go back to your code editor now inside the source or src directory you need to create a file so i'm creating a file named uh, fire.js so write fire.js and inside the fire.js folder uh, sorry file uh, you need to paste whatever you have copied just right now and but before that you need to import firebase here so write firebase uh, sorry import firebase from firebase remember firebase is a module here and you need to import to implement it and 
now write a variable fire equals to firewes dot initialize app and inside it just pass the object that is firewes config all right give a semicolon here and export the fire variable as default so write export default fire all right now uh, go back to your app.js file now import import the fire.js file into this file write import fire from dot slash fire as it is inside the same directory so whatever you have to do is i am deleting this console because everything is working perfectly so what what i will do is whenever the user clicks on the save button it will create a reference inside the firebase database and then it will store or push that exact value whatever is inside the input field so write let message ref and equals to fire dot database dot ref messages and it will create a reference as messages dot ordered by key dot limit to last and i will giving uh, i'm giving it as uh, maybe 100 okay all right now all you need to do is just push the value here so write fire dot database dot ref and as you are uh, pushing the inside the messages reference so write messages and then dot push and inside the parentheses just uh, pass the value so here the value will be this dot state dot uh, i think not input it is text right so here you can see inside the state it is text all right so that's it and then uh, if you you may write this part like uh, if 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 you click on the submit button and then after saving it will uh, the state will be blank again the state of the text will be blank again all right now go back to your browser again and scroll down click on the con uh, continue to console button and uh, go to database and uh, here you can see a button create a database and remember you need to start it in test mode so click on that just ignore all of this and click on done all right so remember you are inside the real-time database and your rules are this and if you don't have the this rule just uh, follow uh, these rules and you can write it by your own inside the rule section and if you want to uh, if you want to go to the data section uh, you may go and then go back to your uh, page your react page i'm just zooming in i'm typing the text uh, my first message i'm clicking save button and if you go to the console again and you can see my first message text is there and again i am showing you like uh, write my for my second text uh, my second message and click on save all right uh, now go back to your firebase console and you can see the changes and everything is working here perfectly so 
that's it thank you for watching please click on the subscribe and like button